And that's really what's happening with a brain who has Alzheimer's or dementia. The brain lobes are really tight. And then as we, the disease takes hold, uh, the brain starts shrinking and all the lobes start uh, having gaps. So it's harder for everything to connect. Let's give a big round of applause for all these contestants. Don't they look beautiful? You said the grass was greener on the other side But from where I stand I can't see grass at all Go back and watch it. Watch those two guards pull. Both the guards pull, and it sucked both those linebackers up because they thought it was the R in the RPO, right? And that's right where those if those linebackers had have dropped, that's right where Kanai's uh, route was going. We're representing our school, you know, and we need to put a, a great product out there. We have a great product. We don't have to do anything, man. We're not lying. We're just saying what we actually have and the kind of school we have and the coaches and faculty. So anytime we can let people know about Indy Nation, we're going to. Number three, Kanai Big Time Johnson on the touchdown there. Nieves, beautiful pass right down the middle. And coach, we're two points away from a tie ball yeah. game. Right here, we have our 20-year-old South American sea lion, Kitty. You having a good night, Kitty? You are. Can you smile pretty for everybody? That is a beautiful smile. Thank you, Kitty. Oh, he's gone country. Yeah, look at them boots. He's gone country. Back to his roots. He's gone country. I'm thinking that probably there's consensus on 99% of the territory that we're talking about that we've been working on. And when you consider that seven jurisdictions have been working on that, that's pretty uh, good accomplishment. Hello, Franklin High School Marching Band. It's me, Dolly Parton. Congratulations on your big show this year, Rags to Rhinestones. And I'm so proud and honored that you're going to be playing my songs. And I hope you have as much fun playing them as I had writing them. 3-0. and Centennial, first time since 2014. And I wanted to add a little more to this. Snaps a four game winning streak for Indy. They had won eight out of nine in this matchup. It's the first win at Independence since 2010. You know, it's an in-county region game. It's, you know, their, their student section always shows up. They're always there and loud and band the same way. So I think you got both, both sides and I think it's great for the kids and the atmosphere and the environment. Uh, it just makes for a tough week every week. Gonna be picked up clean. Calvin Wall with the return here, finds a slot. Can Wells lock him down? He's not gonna be able to catch him. And he's able to bring it back to the house, so Calvin Wall. What we're about to do is to honor the first responders that didn't run out of the building but ran into it. And as athletes, you train all year for your game or your match. We had several in several cases this last year 
where our county commissioners had um, need to or wanted to um, convene meetings outside of just the normal sessions. They could not repeat this scenario on other properties. They don't have enough open space left over for another development to, or to, you know, to, to, to lose property to another development like is taking place here. That is not a possibility. So you've got 23 wins, the fans have 24 wins, Qual's 26 wins, and I have 27. Wins. That's strong, man. It's not bad. 27 keep. and 3? That's good. Fans keep voting on X. <laughs> WCSC. You're, you're coming Athletics. around on X. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. <laughs> when we did the workout back in the spring, it was so neat to see you guys go, I'll have my assistant. He'll help do this and we'll help do that. I, I want to let you know, and if you don't realize it, it's not typical. It's pretty special, really. Right. It is. So I know I appreciate that. And, I think your team's benefited from it. On the pass from Collins, breaks a tackle and scores a touchdown. Yeah. Collins, as you said, Doug, great arm there, powers it through. Gaka tries jumping the route for the pick. So big target for Collins. That's a name we'll probably be calling on WCTV for a couple more years. A couple I would more say. years. Tonight, kids from Brooklyn Middle School are coming to sort of shadow us so we can teach them how to do a film shoot. So to kind of get them interested in continuing film in high school. Everybody wants to be mayor if they are running. And when I saw that I won the first round, I was like, wow. I couldn't believe it because I was running for mayor just for fun and I really did not think I was gonna win. I have run for office. I know what it's like to put your last name on a yard sign and see that name pop up in all of the yards of your friends and neighbors, and then to see the, the names of your opponents pop up in all the yards of your friends and neighbors. It's interesting to me that the state law actually was passed just this past year requiring public comment at voting meetings, and our board has been doing it for years. So we do continue to encourage you all uh, to share. Hey, here's a gem for you. You're gonna like this week's gem, especially because you're on the Brentwood. I, li anyway. I like all the gems. Five and oh, the Bruins are. For the first time since 2012, and that year, Tate, they go eight and oh to start the season. Look at these guys. They're flying around, they're having a great time, they're playing with energy, they're playing with intensity. You know, that's the scariest part of that defense because they believe in whatever's going on, whatever Coach Burks has going on, they believe in that. And, you know, that's that's what we got to try to win against tonight. Coach Hester sounds like he's part of the independent staff right now. <laughs> Ravenwood lines up for a 21-yard try from the 10-yard line. Straight up and down middle here. The full block will be on for these Eagles. Snap is back. Kick is up, and that's dead right in the middle. Kick is up and good. 3.8 left. That's going to be schools and SOAR has joined together in a partnership to promote just active living. Implementation strategies, the idea of, of revisiting this in five years, of agreeing to no annexation outside the growth areas, uh, and of a continuing uh, advisory group. Starting our school year in such an unconventional way, everyone came together and made it work. And now that we are in our building, we are refocused on giving that extra degree in everything we do. We are building a facility uh, on Franklin High School's campus, and it will be a hub for innovative 
college and career technical education programs. And one thing that I think is neat, aviation is one of them. Building a strong foundation for everything that we would strive to be and what we would focus on, which is student learning and doing what's best for students. This is something that I hope that Amanda North herself would be incredibly proud of. Don't you feel like, I don't know what you said before, but I feel like after watching him a few times, Coach Stewart would be like a kind of a speedboat kind of guy. Big time speedboat. Yeah. You know, oh yeah. What do they call those? Uh, He's on the 40 foot Donzi, man. Okay. But I was thinking the, the really, really. Another one. <laughs> I think my first experience was in 2006 playing at Franklin uh, and I'd been coaching two-way ball uh, out in Cheatham County and I still that kind of got me hooked on 6A Williamson County football it was one of the coolest atmospheres ever I just remember standing on the sideline charting plays for coach Crawford and thinking this is really cool <laughs> so it was just an awesome environment well we'll see right here you talked about they were trying to slip out Merrill out of the backfield wide open you're gonna see yeah, it looked like Gowry's, Gowry's right there up top and Hayes. Gives him an outlet. And off balance, completion. All you need to do is catch it, and he did.